What's up everybody and welcome back to the editing the homepage of Agencia Template Tutorial. We're going to be going ahead and basically uh, adjusting the final items of the homepage. So we're going to be adding some project images here. We're going to be adding uh, some company uh, like description about our company. Well, adjusting this section and then finally adjusting the footer itself. First, we're going to need to be adjusting the projects themselves. If you go into CMS and into the works, you're going to have a pin icon on the top right. If you select featured on home page and then featured order and then sort them by the featured order, we're going to be able to actually see which of these four were featured on the home page themselves. So we can go into the logo folio and we can override it or we can go ahead and create a new one just for the sake of speed as we're just going to be showing how to edit the home page itself you can click here and then we have this is going to be according to the design we have the full ninja agency and then a short description founder and webflow developer so this is going to be featured on a home page it's going to be on an order order of one and then we're going to delete the image itself and then agency is this one it's minimized to 200 kilobytes project category it is uh like let me add a new category my company we can add all of those uh, items later on the description and in the, the seo image itself create uh project categories like if you were gonna f filter projects by multiple categories you can add more of them and all of these items are going to be in a separate tutorial following uh, where we're going to be adding the projects themselves fully. So yeah, we added this one. Let's save it out. Then let's add another one. So then according to the design, we have Ninja templates. We're going to be removing the image from here, adding a minimized image, featured order is second. Uh, the, like, let's, let's leave this as is, the website. Publishing Webflow Template is a short description. Let's do the third one. Uh, that is gonna be, uh, let's do Ninja Resources. We're gonna be adding a cover image for the resources. It's gonna be an order number of three. And then help you develop web, Webflow websites faster. That is that. Uh, we can save that. And then now we have to finally like, let's do delete and then the Webflow Ninja Tutorials. It's going to be the fourth one. Let's copy the text. And we can also adjust the slacks themselves too. Bam. And here also. So after that's done, if we go back to the homepage itself, we're going to see that everything has been updated itself. So let me just go here and see featured on the homepage is on start at three. Let me just see did we miss anything. So Ninja agency, Ninja template, Ninja resources, and then the Webflow YouTube tutorials are the images cover images uploaded. They are. Uh, why are we having this issue here? Uh, maybe we're featuring by the wrong one featured on the homepage. That is good. Let's unfeature this one. Uh, let's also unfeature the fundamenta. The dot. Save. Let's unfeature the yoga studio. And then the Povera itself is not featured. So featured, 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 featured. Go back. Now we're talking. That is good. So we have the ninja resources and then we have the ninja agency. So that is all fine and yeah i think we're just gonna need to change these two so the full ninja agency is gonna be the second one and save it and then the ninja templates are gonna be the first one and again this is gonna be starting on the second so we might need to add a sort order of featured oh that's that was the problem so uh home page featured order smallest to largest again here conditions home page feature order is 
Uh, boom, that's visible. We're gonna be adding homepage featured order, smallest to largest. Here, we're gonna be adding, removing sort order, homepage featured order, smallest to largest again. And then here, we're gonna be sorting these to homepage feature order, homepage feature order, smallest to largest. So yeah, now we're now we're talking. We need to actually exchange these two. So the ninja resources need to be fourth, and then the webflow YouTube tutorials need to be the third one. So yeah, now we're good to go. So this section is now looking great. Uh, if we scroll down. We have another one here. Want to work with us? So we can add here like a class of Jumbo. It's gonna get a lot bigger then, a lot looking a lot better. And then let's add these two gifts. This one and this one. So we need to add a uh, arrow icon W2. Then we need to add here uh, V3. Good. Uh, and let's remove the old one. So in order to like revert this to be like it should be, let's add a 10 viewport width. And let's add this to be like that. Remove the star icon completely. Uh, from the GIF. I can wrap here. We can remove this to be zero, zero, zero. And then here, in this case, we're gonna be removing this also. And we're good to go. So in, in that section, in the design, we added contact me at Volnijo's website. This is too long. Low Ninja. Contact me at. We can do it this way. So basically we're done with that section. We can move to the next one. So here we're going to be using an image and then overriding the design of this a little bit. So if we go here. We're going to be adding uh, this fun image of us. We're going to be making this a little bit bigger to 70 view per height. Uh, the awards themselves are going to be uh, useful links now. And now we're going to need to jump ahead and basically change this. So we're showcasing the brand guidelines. So we need to remove the awards logo and then the side of the day and then paste in a heading let's do a h2 with a class of st font and the add a no margin so this is going to need to span two of the rows and paste it in here so we can remove this and this make this h3 or h4 i guess to look better a word item is going to have an underline with this color and then paste one change it to a link block and then paste one, two. We have free fitness template. And then in the end, we have social share buttons. Let's change the numbering here to zero two. Change it to zero three. And then mouse hover. The hover for this can still be the same. Just so we don't have any, any problems here. So yeah, that is that. Uh, we added that. We're gonna need to add links. We're gonna just go back once more and add links for everything on the page. And then the final thing we're gonna need to be adjusting is the footer. Just for the sake of it, uh, as this is gonna be like the tutorial, the first part of the tutorial, and then like I think a week from now we're gonna be recording the whole one. Uh, we're gonna be removing the bottom part uh, for the sake of it. So uh, you can basically go ahead here. You can change the icons to be the icons that we want to use. So let's say this, and then changing the project to be like this. 
changing all of the arrows to the new ones. Bam, like this. So now we're good to go. And then you can just basically change the links. We can remove what we do. Uh, we can remove maybe about. And yeah, that's that's basically it. So all, everything else, you can change the links here. You can change the links here, here, here. By, by going on the right side. Um, again, just for the sake of it, as this is going to be uh, me launching this one pager. And then in the next part, we're going to be going deep into the projects about contact, uh, like blog and everything like that. We're just going to be adding my own logo here. We're going to be removing the style guide, licensing components and support. Uh, instead of that, we can like add. Um, oh, yeah, actually, we can remove that completely. And then let me have this be two spans. And that is it. So, yeah, now remove this. And we're good to go. The final thing is now checking the mobile and checking that all of the links are leading to somewhere. So if we go ahead to projects, we're going to be saying projects. If we go about, this is going to be about. The contact is going to be contact. And that is it. So now we can go back here. Uh, we can go page section. We can go to projects here. We can go to about and then here we can go to contact us. Now founder of Flow Ninja, I'm going to be adding our agency website here. As an outlink, YouTube, let's add a YouTube.com for the time being. And then find my, my story below, we can go to about. Uh, one small trick when you're doing these page jumps is you can add section attributes. This can be like data scroll, then mid, because we want to scroll to the middle of the screen when we do scroll actually for this. Uh, then for this one also. And then for the final one. That is all cool. Now we have everything here. Visit Fall Ninja again. We're going to be adding our agency website here. Uh, these links, for the time being, I'm going to be converting them to a div block, so we're not linking them out to anything. Uh, let me go our client side flex, flex it to the right. Now we can add access this to convert it to the link block. And then just don't forget to go back. Uh, some of my latest projects, I'm going to be adding a field here of settings. And then we're going to be adding this to be custom link. Adding this to the top. Uh, let me archive actually all of these old project projects that we don't need. Archive. Ninja templates, we're going to be adding on here. Template marketplace, uh, Webflow templates, mm, these are going to be our templates here added. Flow Ninja Agency is going to be our agency website, custom link. Wellflow YouTube tutorials. Let's add YouTube for the time being, as this is going to be our first one. And then the final thing is like our resources that we're providing for free resources. Bam. Now this is also going to have a link of custom link because we're going to be building this one pager and linking out. This is going to be linking to free resources. These items are going to be brand guidelines. So this is going to be brand guidelines. This is going to be fitness template. template. 
And then these are gonna be the social share buttons. Bam, we are done. So uh, let's just do a quick check of mobile just because we did some updates actually. So from here, we can see that on mobile, the hero image was going to the right. So just for the time being, we're gonna be flexing this to go left. Center text, we can change the duplicator class to be hero text, custom, and then change it to flex on the left on mobile. Just to see how is this gonna look on mobile. That's gonna be good. And then we can see the preloader itself needs some adjustments on mobile. And here. Let's do 40. Let's do 20. And then here let's do 80. And let's do 30, 40 maybe. Something like that. Just so we can see keeping the same format. And again going back here and then removing this. Uh, now, as we're, we change the size of the font on the desktop, I recommend going here like, okay, let's do here maybe, and then all paragraphs and changing this, go back, and then changing this to be a little bit different here. So let me just find a paragraph. We can just paste in a paragraph here, and then all paragraphs and change this to be 18 maybe, or even 16. Then small paragraph is gonna get smaller. So it's gonna get to 14. So we have a pretty great balance here also. Our clients, this is also working. This is also working. So yeah, we're good to go. As we said, this was the first part in our series. In uh, the next part, we're gonna be going over on how we can go to projects about and like going a little bit more into details. So press the like button if you like this kind of style and we're gonna, we're gonna keep recording tutorials like this. So yeah, talk to you soon. Bye-bye.